Superhero Landing. What's up, everybody? It's Nile here today. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is Boy Nile here today, back with a brand new video. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back, and you guys are probably thinking, Nile. You're back, and yes, I'm back. I've been gone for like two months now, as far as recording is concerned. I'm really sorry about that. My life's been boring. I do the same thing every day for the most part. I really need to bring the vlog camera out, especially the baseball field, more and more. Um, and I figured, you know, it's a beautiful day out today, so why don't we record outside? Plus, today I'm ranking my teammates, so I had to block out the haters because you know they're gonna be haters talking about my rankings and whatnot. But if you gotta hate, if you're hating about my rankings, you just should have just been better because then you wouldn't have been in the situation you put in. So. Today I'm gonna to go over one through 37, my teammates. Now these are my teammates on the active roster besides one. I did add a red shirt because, I mean, he's my favorite of all time. He's gonna be number one, it's Herbie, obviously. But um, I only put the names of people that were on the actual roster on the Saracosa site because obviously um, I thought that was the most justifiable actions to do. So I rank them, we're gonna go from 37 to one and it should be a fun show here. Also too, a lot of people wanted another top five and since it's the new year, had some guys at the break, lost some guys, um, I figured it was a good time to update these rankings. Starting off at number 37, we gotta go with uh, Sorate. Sorate, you know, my Puerto Rican boy, he left me to go back to Puerto Rico. It definitely hit a rough spot for me and unfortunately I had to put him on my 37, the last spot. And that's also because he's no longer here, but he is technically on the active roster. So I did tell him, or I did put him on this list for that reason. Similar situation at number 36 with Trey Coleman. You know, I just haven't seen Trey Coleman in like a month. I hope he's doing well. Um, I wish him the best, but he hasn't been out here in a month. So again, another situation there where I just had to put him at the number 36 spot. And it's unfortunate, it really is. Now we're gonna start to get into the players that are really on the team. John Luke, number 35. Man, John Luke took a turn for the worst. He was at four or five, if I'm not mistaken, and dropped all the way to 35. Now, the main reason for that being is the only reason why he was on my list to begin with was the fact that he was in the Little League World Series and I had that little clout going for me. But since the Little League World Series, he hasn't done anything for me. He's actually pissed me off and bugged me in so many ways that are honestly indescribable at this point. And it got so bad that he was pissing me off so much to the point that I actually had to block him on Snap. And that's one of the reasons why I'm wearing the sunglasses right now, because I'm blocking out the haters. You know, He's one of those guys that I'm blocking out right now. I had to literally block him on Snapchat. So, John Luke, you're sitting at number 35. Uh, it sucks because Bobby's ahead of you. <laughs> but uh, just be better. Number 34 is Noah. Noah's at 34 just because Noah's one of those guys that's really great to talk to. I just don't talk to him much anymore. Um, he's a red shirt, so he doesn't travel for the games. And we've had a lot of road games recently, so that's one of the reasons why I put him at 34. But can't be much worse because... I mean, like when I talk to him, he's he's a great guy and I love talking to him. It's the same thing with actually Caden at 33. Those guys live together, I just don't really talk to them. But when I talk to them, it's like the happiest moment of my life. So those are 34 and 33 respectively. Bobby's at 32. Now, okay, Bob's at 32. I think this one's an obvious one here. Bob's could be a little bit higher or a little bit lower, but honestly, John Luke's lower than Bobby. I think that Bobby is, Bobby's just, he's just a little zesty, okay? And I like, I'm a little zesty too. All baseball players are a little bit zesty. But Bob takes it to an extreme, right? He's got a little thing for Jackson Aladis, I heard. So, I don't know. It's just a rumor. But that's just what I hear. That's just what I've been hearing. But well, Bob's at 32. Bob's is a funny guy. Um, he's also 32 just because he's stupid. Uh, he drafted one of the worst fantasy baseball teams of all time. Uh, so, that's one of the reasons why I had to put him here. And he's got to put some smart people behind the list. But, you know, Bob's at 32. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. Number 31, Aiden Johnson, man. Similar situation, Bob and Aiden can be grouped in the same category. A little zesty, a little, it's cool, I'm a little zesty too. Uh, Aiden's good. The only reason why I have Aiden at this spot is because he always takes my snacks. Now granted, he did give me crumble cookie the other day, or yesterday, um, when we traveled to Victor Valley, and I did respect him for that. But I'm like, dude, you're already way at buck 50. Like, just stop eating my snacks, all right? A little munch. Um, Devin at number 30, I put Devin at 30. I love Devin, but he just sucks at 2K. And I thought in order to be in my top 29, you had to be good at 2K. So that's the reason why I put Devin there. Number 29, Cam. Cam, he cut my meat the wrong way. What do you mean by that? 28's Chatty. Chatty's been great. I love Chatty, but he's uh, been kind of side-eyeing me recently. I'm not liking it. You know, I like the Elenesis days. Me and him were Twitch buddies, and uh, it just hasn't worked out the way that it's meant to be. So, you know, Chatty, good guy. He has fallen a little bit on my list, so Chatty, if you're listening to this, you know, you need to, you need to step up a little bit. You need to get me back on that, that streaming grind and get back to where we used to be because we were number ones, bro. We were number ones on Snap, you know what I'm saying? Luigi at 27. 
Honestly, the only reason why I put Luigi here is because he's always got a little thing for me. Right? He's always telling me to go to the Banyo. I, he's got a little thing for me. It's, I like it. It's cool. He's always flirting with me, you know? You know how the Puerto Ricans are? Zesty as hell, bro. They always zesty. He flirted with me. He put me, uh, asked me to go to the bathroom, this and that. Like, you know, I like that. I like that type of energy. That's that BDE. All right? That's that BDE. It's what I like. So, uh, you know, I had to put Luigi there at number 27 for that reason. Actually, surprisingly, I put Jax at 26. Now, obviously, Jax, I love you, bro, but... I didn't like it out that like last year. You always bug me. You always pick on me. I get it. I'm a little, you pick on me whatever you need to do. But this year, he's been funny. And me and Jax have really gotten close. He won't say that. But he, he does have a soft spot for me. Right here. You got a little soft spot for me. I know you do. Uh, so that's why I got to put him at number 26 there. Calvin at number 25. Honestly, uh, like, bro, the only reason why I like you is because you cut my hair. So, gracias. <laughs> 24 is Brent. Uh, Brent's cool. Uh, he takes my reps in center field during BP, and I understand that, bro, but, like, I gotta get my reps, too. You know, I can't be this good looking and not get some reps in center field. So, that's, again, another reason why I put him at 20. 23 is Gavin. Now, Gavin, I like you, but you're an Edmonton fan, and that's a big turnoff for me. As a Minnesota Wild fan, I had to put you at number 23. Um, it's also gonna be good, too, and the Wild go farther than Edmonton in the postseason. And, again, a little zesty. I like it. I like that energy, but... Yeah, I don't know. Edmonton has rubbed me the wrong way. That's the reason why I put you there at number 23. Mark at number 22. Mark, this this just sucks. This this pains me to do, putting you at number 22. You were in my top five. I think you were my number two uh, in the fall. And honestly, we've just kind of fallen a little bit. It hasn't been the same Mark that I know. And like, we got our handshake, this and that. And, you know, I, I thought it meant something to you, but it really didn't, apparently. 21 is Kennedy. Now, I mean, Kennedy. I would have put him at 40 like a week ago, but he's been funny, bro. He's been funny. I know we got a little new thing going on. I'm not going to speak on that. I will keep that quiet. But he's been funny. He, he, him and his roommate are like two of the funniest guys you ever meet because they just buddy. And uh, Trevor, one of my good friends from last year, uh, he went to school with Kennedy in the fall, so he's got a little bit of background there on Kennedy. Good kid, good guy, and I'm really excited to put him in my top 21. Nick, I put him at number 20. Nick's a little firecracker, bro. You piss Nick off, you're gonna die, like for real. Uh, Nick's a good guy. He was the hardest working kid I know. Um, he's what, five, five eight. Sorry if, if you're not, and you're actually a little bit taller. Um, but he's just a little firecracker. That guy deserves to go be in the major league base, play major league baseball because of how hard he works. And that's why I had to put him there at the number 20 spot. Roommate Braxton at number 19. A lot of people hating on Braxton. I think he's a good guy. I know he's a good guy. He's a funny guy. Um, he always calls me Kyle for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, I love it. I love that energy. So I had to put Braxton at number 19. Number 18 is Bagshaw. <laughs> had to drop Bagshaw a little bit. I know we went to high school together, but the cuddling thing. And Fresno has really turned me off. You were in top 10 and for the last, I don't know, two months, I've been a little little hesitant to sit near you, bro, because if you guys don't know a little backstory, all right? Backshot was cuddling me at Fresno, all right? I didn't mean to spoil, to spoil the beans like that, but you were you clearly didn't want it to be a secret. So the, the truth's out there. Went to high school together. Obviously, that meant a lot to you, um, just the way that you were you know, holding me that night. So like I said, I had my girlfriend there, so it was nice to have a little cuddle buddy, but again, a little, little too much, a little too much for a first night sleeping together, all right? Number 19, sorry, 18, 17, man, I can't, I can't speak, is Brooks. Brooks is cool too, I love Brooks. Uh, we got great cocks as far as Clash Clans is concerned. Um, his is a 15 town hall, I'm a 13 town hall. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the only reason why it's just cock has brought us together. And um, if it wasn't for Clash of Clans, then we wouldn't, we wouldn't be friends, so yeah. And he's got a nice little cute dog too. Yachty at 16, Yachty's really grown on me. Yachty, uh, I always joke with him in Spanish just because I, I try to learn Spanish. I'm trying to become bisexual, bilingual. Oh my God, wow! And um, you know, I really think Yachty's been one of those guys that's helped me learn the origins of Espanol and get better with that. So I had to put the Yachty at that spot there. Jackson, my roommate at 15. Jackson was in my top five too. He dropped out my list. Um, I room with him. He's my roommate or my, my, my housemate, whatever you want to call it. We don't actually share a room together. He didn't talk to me really for like a month. That really, that really hit a soft spot. And, um, you know, he's just a little bit dumb too. And like I said, I need smart people on my list. So I had to put Jackson at number 15. And he was a little butthurt about that. But hey, you make me a nice steak, we might be talking a little bit different in about a week. 14, speaking of dumb, is Romeo. Romeo is one of those guys that you just look at and you have to laugh. Every time I look at Romeo, I just laugh. He's got a little patchy beard. You know, we all got a little patchy beards. I had a patchy beard not too long ago. Um, so I've been there, done that. I understand a little bit. Sorry, the lighting got a little messed up. I don't know what's going on here. Lighting's a little dark, but hey, 
this is a perfect time to talk about Romeo. Romeo's a great guy. I think he's funny. He means well. Just a little bit slow. A little bit slow. It's okay to have a little bit of slow. All right, just a little bit of slow. 13 is Bowman, Big Bo, Bo Bamba, Botani, Bo Hey, whatever you want to call him. Dude's a beast. Dude's awesome. I love him. So glad he came at the break. Um, he was one of those guys that I saw him hit for the first time, and I was like, man, this guy's good. Can't believe he got cut from Coach Ice. Bless Saracoso by coming over to Saracoso and helping us hopefully make a postseason run. So I love Bo Bamba. He's like my little teddy bear. Steve, I put Steve at number 12. Steve's really growing on me, you know. Steve, uh, a lot of people know him as Ratsky or Maratsky and had a little rat situation, but he found his cheese. He got his cheese. He throwing his cheese on the mound, and uh, he, he's really doing a good job. And I'm really excited to see what Steve's going to be able to do for us and where he's going to go next year. Um, and I'm really just, like I said, he's helped me out with recruiting. He's helped me out just being a friend and uh, somebody to talk to. So how to put Steve there at number 12. His roommate, Levi, at number 11. Levi is good. Um, there's a little bit that pisses me off about Levi, and it's his asking for answers every day of the week. And I get that. But, like, why don't you just come get them so I don't have to take a picture and send them to you? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, like, common courtesy, bro. Right? I'm going to be playing the show, making a podcast, making a YouTube video. Help a brother out. Had to freshen up a little bit for the top ten because, uh, you know, they're actually meaningful numbers here in the top ten. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys my top ten now, starting with number ten in Jordan Masses. Now, Jordan Masses has been with me now for two years. I've loved every second I had with him. He's a co-leader in my Clash of Clans. You know, obviously means a lot to me. Um, so I had to put Jordan at number ten. Also a good kid for the most part. Says some naughty words here and there, but we all do, right? So Jordan Masses, number ten. Uh, Dom, Dom is going to be at number 9. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm putting Dom at number 9. I really have to put Mark at number 9, so Mark's technically number 9 and number 22. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> so Mark's technically number 9 and 22. I already talked about Mark there, so 8 is going to be Dom. Dominic Lopez. Now, Dominic Lopez, him and Jacob Ortiz are like the same person. So, like, if you're talking about Dom, you're talking about Jacob, which is why I have Jacob at number 7, because they too... They like my buddies, all right? They hang out all the time. They do everything together. Um, and so Dom's going to be my number eight. Pretty cool guy. Got a little good, good facial hair going. Uh, he's relatively cool. Sometimes makes me a little bit mad. Um, he makes Moises a lot mad. And uh, he's my throwing partner. So you make Moises mad, you make me mad. Jacob, I'm just happy he's showing up on time to stuff this year. Last year, he never did that. If he showed up on time, the earth was about to explode. Because he would never show up on time. That was one of my biggest pet peeves is being on time. But he's a good guy. Yeah, Mr. Ortiz, man. He's a good man. Uh, he's a good man. Gotta put him at number seven. Stoner's technically not on the team. He's a bullpen catcher. But I had to put Stoner at number six. Because without Stoner, I wouldn't be the man I am today. Whether that's in the bullpen or the man outside of baseball. Stoner's one of those guys that his name says his exact personality. Stoner. Great guy. Luscious hair. Luscious facial hair. Great bullpen catcher. Great dude. I'm going to miss Stoner a lot next year. Moving into my top five, we got Jake at the number five spot. Jake Writing. Now, Jake Writing, I don't know how he jumped from like 30 to 5 in a matter of a month, but recently, we've been getting close. We've been getting real close. And I'm using that to my advantage because he's going to Fresno State. So in five, ten years from now, I want to be like one of the tell my kids, hopefully not having kids anytime soon, but hey, I know that Fresno State guy is my friend. But in reality, he's just on the list because he's going to Fresno State, he's going to play division baseball. No, he's a good guy though, Jake's funny. I think being in the bullpen too, um, I've learned, I mean, not learned a lot about him, but he's just a funny guy. And uh, bottom line, that's why I put him at number five. Clay at number four, Clay is my second favorite lefty on the team. Clay's just a funny guy. Me and him could talk for hours about anything. Always got a smile on his face. Great guy, great pitcher, and I'm really excited to see what he's gonna do in Kansas next year. Blake at number three. Blake's my little my little guy. I mean, he's like this tall, like literally this tall. I mean, even shorter than that. I think he's the shortest on the team. I always joke with him about his height and his, you know, being chilling status, but uh, he's a good guy. He's uh, he's funny, and uh, like I said, no, no bad things to say about him. Moise is number two. He's my throwing partner. All right, Moise is my throwing partner, so you obviously got to put your throwing partners at number two. A lot of people don't understand um, the connection that throwing partners have. You know, I could talk to Moy about him costing the game against COD by not covering a bag, and um, you know he could he could make fun of me for the same thing. And that's just what throwing partners do: share deepest, darkest secrets with them, make fun of them for not being good at baseball, and the rest is history. So I got to put Moy at number two. I'm a little beanie. And one number one's Herbie. I mean, Herbie's just my favorite guy. Not on the team, but my life would not be complete without Herbie. 